This summer's transfer market will be without a doubt the summer of coaches, as many managers will be with our club. Not to mention that there are many others who could be sucked at any moment. But even if there is many coaches who will be free, there is one who even though he has a contract with his club until 2026, and he won't be sucked at any time soon, he's more in demand than the others. Of course you already know that I'm talking about Xabi Alonso, who led Leverkusen from near relegation to a 10 points lead over Bayern Munich, with only 10 games left to win the Bundesliga title for the first time in their history. So of course every club wants to have a coach as good as him, especially as there aren't that many good coaches. I mean the good ones are already taken. So the question now, is Xabi Alonso ready to manage a club that's bigger than Leverkusen? To answer this question we need to look at it from different perspectives to get a clear answer. But first, let's see what those big clubs that we are talking about. So far there's three clubs that we're sure to be looking for a new coach. FC Barcelona, Bayern Munich and Liverpool. We can exclude FC Barcelona, because even if he's Spanish, he can't put aside his history with Real Madrid to manage their rivals, especially as he dreams of managing Real Madrid. There were some talks to give him a chance this summer, but after renewing Ancelotti's contract, they were out of the picture, which means we only have Liverpool and Bayern Munich. So is he capable of coaching them? To know the answer, let's look at similar situations in the past. Coaches who went from average clubs to big ones. And let's not go too far. We have Jorgen Klopp who went from Dortmund to Liverpool. And the rest is history. Or Jose Mourinho who after winning the Europa League and the Champions League with Porto, he went to Chelsea and succeeded. Although many said he would fail because Chelsea isn't Porto. And they are right, because there are many who have succeeded at certain clubs and failed when they moved to another. And in fact there are many. But if you look at the majority of successful managers, they had a bit of experience before their big move and they had time to build the team. For example, Jurgen Klopp was a manager for 14 years, won two Bundesliga titles with Dortmund, two German Super Cups, a German Cup and took them to the Champions League final. And when he arrived at Liverpool, they were patient with him for four years before he won his first trophy. But Xabi Alonso has none of that. He has just started his coaching career. He doesn't have enough European experience and Liverpool and Bayern Munich are definitely gonna demand results straight away. Not only to win games, but but also to play good football and win titles. Also the games will be much more difficult, so the pressure would be much more higher. Because until now he was competing without any pressure. He wasn't asked to win anything, but let's be fair, he's under pressure now. He's on top of the league and he has to continue like this. Because even Bayern Munich seems weak, at any snows, Leverkusen can lose the league, even if it looks like it's too late. And he's also had a lot of pressure as a player. I mean he has played a lot of tough games in his career. Al Clasico, the World Cup Final, the Champions League Final, etc. So he knows what it takes. But let's not forget that so far the media are on his side. Nobody is criticizing him. But afterwards it will be totally the opposite. One of the other reasons for his success at Leverkusen is that the majority of the players are still young. So they respect him as a legend. And it's easy for him to control or motivate them. And they all want to prove themselves so they can go to a bigger club. But at Munich for example, the majority have already won everything. And in fact one of the problems they have now is that the players have lost the passion to win things. And it's not easy for him to motivate them. And the same thing could happen at Liverpool. The majority of them are big stars. They may not like being told what to do. So it might be better for him to stay longer at Leverkusen. To make a name for himself and get some European experience. But on the other hand, Leverkusen could start collapsing. As there are many clubs that have had exceptional seasons and then disappeared the following year. Also Liverpool and Bayern Munich will have to sign a new coach in his place. And you never know, they may succeed and he would lose the chance to coach them. So it's better that he leaves this summer. And to say whether he will succeed or not, we can't predict. Many coaches have failed after going to big clubs and some have succeeded and some of them didn't even have experience like Guardiola and Zidane who went from having almost no experience to winning everything. So Bayern Munich at Liverpool should fight to sign him because he's the best option available today. Especially he's already shown great signs as a manager and as a player since he's succeeded everywhere he's been. All they have to do is sign him and if he hasn't succeeded they will suck him and move on. But if they lose him to another club and he has succeeded they may never get him. And in fact he's good for both clubs. For Bayern he already has Bundesliga experience and for Liverpool Spanish coaches do well in the Premier League.